Hello black and white and welcome for yet another video and in this one I will just uh, go on and explain how I choose my players uh, for war and so here you can see we won our last war and if we want to start a new war then we have tons of players uh, some of which usually don't uh, just opt out, other or opt in, but are not so good. And here we have 18 selected, and I need 15 or 20. Problem is, uh, out of those um, 18 players, I know there are a few of them that simply don't attack. And this is Marco Polo. I haven't seen him attack in a long time. My UMC also, I know, usually doesn't attack. Then Matt, I'm really glad Matt is back on war because I know he's a very good attacker. But just like that, also Niraj didn't do too good last war. Uh, last time he just didn't attack if I'm not uh, wrong. And then you see that I'm not sure exactly who did good and who did bad. And I could just keep everyone here. But uh, I wouldn't be so sure. And this is why I have... A spreadsheet and my spreadsheet is here so this is a spreadsheet of black and white players and obviously oop, there you go of uh, black and white players in war and it goes back to the end of March and ever since then I kept track of uh, every attack of everyone how many stars against uh, which base on the opponent uh, team it was and everything and here you can see our last war there was uh, Neptune who got uh, a few stars and anyway I will just explain uh, my colors here so you have the dark green uh, which means that someone had at least one three star attack uh, or a very good attack that was almost a three star then there is a light green which means uh, those were pretty bad attacks, but uh, there was an effort. And then there's a red, which means someone didn't attack or had such a bad attack that uh, it was almost as if uh, the person didn't attack at all. So there you go. So if you have your name in red, then when I come back here, I really don't want you in next war. And that's why Niraj, I put him out. And in this one, in last one, we had Yash and BN that were uh, not doing too good. And on the previous one, it was kind of the same. The Godfather, Jayesh, Yash, BN, AR Rain, uh, all those, I didn't put the, the color, but all those were light green, if not red. And this is why... And this is why in the next war I couldn't have uh, 15 players because out of these 15 there were 3 in red so I had to go down because I didn't have enough uh, good players because Ranjit uh, left. Niraj simply didn't attack twice and his first attack was bad and Dorian didn't attack uh, either of his attacks. And here you can see Marco Polo, he was in the war and didn't attack. There was Hector the Great and Jayesh and Mikado, so those players, Das, Darian, and even AR Rain, uh, I don't really want in next war because, yeah, they simply didn't attack. And same goes with Zaid, and I see that here we have Zaid that is back uh, in wanting to be in war, but at the same time I see here that uh, Zaid hasn't done too good. But I also know that Zaid, uh, not here, but in uh, earliest wars, he was there, he didn't play, and then earlier here he was playing, and he had one good attack. Uh, what about earlier? No Zaid. Zaid here, but also one X, he was in red. And here he had a good attack, but it was quite a long time ago, one, two, three, four, five. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine. It was nine at nine while ago. So I'm not sure I want uh, Zaid back. And 
same goes for Zayesh, and uh, we just lost uh, the player Zayesh who left last war because he was not in war. But as you can see, he had pretty bad uh, wars, so I had no reason to keep him in. So what I do is I usually watch here who's in uh, dark green, and we have six players in dark green and Neptune, but uh, Neptune is a um, is a he's still a pretty important player in war for us. So I'm sure I will keep them. And as for Yash and BN and even Beast, Beast I keep him only because he has a very small base and because he's the last uh, in the uh, the last base, it doesn't change much. So I usually keep him. So anyway, so the other one I keep, Neptune I keep, Nila I keep, he's part of the good ones. Yash, I'm not sure. Zaid, I'm not sure. So I am, uh, I called him back, so I want him in. So yeah, maybe I will keep uh, Zaid and Yash out for now. Uh, Death Commit, he's part of the good players. Matt also, Navarone also almost always has three stars. Uh, if you have a look here, Navaon here, he got one three, three star, almost two three stars. Last one, one three star. The war earlier, Navaon three stars and almost. The war earlier, Navaon, oh, this time he didn't have a, a three star, but it's really rare. And if you get there, you can go very long, uh, very far with Navaon here, three star. Uh, again, three star, three star. So yeah, I keep track of uh, who's doing good and who is not. Uh, Cutix, I don't really know what Cutix done uh, in the last war, so I'm gonna have a look. And Cutix, he had one uh, three star, so good, he's in. Uh, Arnav is a new player, so um, I don't know who is he. Uh, so then we get to BN, and BN uh, has the same story. BN doesn't have very good attacks, same as Yash. And AL Reigns, I shouldn't keep him. Same as with Beast. So yeah, here I have a problem. Is uh, Either I go down to, third, to 10 players, and I take out uh, AL Reigns, BN, and uh, the ones I took out, or... I take Zaid in and I keep uh, Yash in and we get 15. And I think I will go with this option so that we can see the new players how they do. And if those players that have been doing uh, pretty poorly uh, before keep doing poorly, then next one they will be out. So yeah, this one will be a try. There is basically 5 players here that uh, I'm not sure I should keep in. But I will just keep in uh, to see if they are able to have a better a better war than they had before. As for the rest, uh, we really have uh, just about uh, seven or eight good players, and I will do all my everything possible to keep them in. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and this is our next war lineup. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.